So this has sped up our hydraulic modelling quite significantly. What was important when we did the measurements is that we, we then come back and then we're able to, you know, integrate, I guess, that into our future modelling. And this allows us then to go from a model into reality as closely as possible. We're pretty good because we control everything in these models uh, up to around 90% of where we should be. The last sort of 10%, we need to get in and move it because we can't control that entrained air. We've got a little bit of a different sort of uh, friction coefficient. 